<laughs> Definitely did not hit that note. <laughs> makeup tutorial is going to be an inspiring look by Justine Sky. I have been dying to create this look since the summertime when she posted this picture and I'm so excited that I finally got the chance to create it. I also got to use hairspray for the first time on my hair. If you guys don't know who Justine Sky is, she is a singer, songwriter, R&B style. She has a couple of songs out currently. She just released a new one called You Don't Know with Wizkid. She also has a song with Tyga and Fake Mensa. Definitely check her out if you guys have it. Basically, I consider her a Nubian goddess and I really was inspired to create this look when she wore it to the Made in America Festival this summer. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching. And you guys, this video was in collab with my good friend Kanisha. She's a YouTuber from Montreal and she also created a couple of looks on her channel. All of her creations were so dope. I'll have all the links below in the description box. You definitely have to check her out and when you do, make sure you tell her that I sent you. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I've already applied the Nivea Men Post Balm Shade as well as the L'Oreal Micro Blur for my face and like setting it with my pores and everything. Next, I'm going to be taking the NYX Born to Gold Liquid Illuminator and this is in the shade Sunbeam. And I noticed that Justine's skin is like glowy, like she just has like this really natural pretty glow. So I'm just going to put this on to get that luminous glow. It's not like a sun kiss glow, but more of a just like a... Nubian goddess glow, like she just really has a nice glow. So I'm just gonna be applying this on my face. The BH Cosmetics 111 brush. Okay, so now that I have like an even layer of this on, I kind of look ghostly a little, but it's gonna all work out. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. This is in the shade 13 and Chestnut. Um, I actually got this from Beautycon, so I've been using it a lot recently. And I'm just going to be applying this to my face with one of the BH Cosmetics 116 brushes. So I'm just going to be applying my foundation as well as my contour and highlight and concealer just to my face. But I'm going to fast forward it because I'm going to be uploading my everyday makeup tutorial so you guys don't really need to see this part. Okay guys, so I've applied my foundation and contour. Now I'm just going to be taking the Mary Kay Translucent Powder and applying this under my eyes just to set them. And I'm just taking one of these faux artisan brushes. I'm kind of gonna go up like that. I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelids just to set that area. And then I'm gonna do this side. And just also because my nose and my T-zone area just gets so oily, so hopefully this will help prevent it. I'm also gonna go under my contour a little just to make it stand out a little bit more. So I look crazy right now, but I'm gonna move on to my brows. And in the picture, Justine really has like a strong brow, so that's kinda gonna be the look I'm going for. But yeah, these are gonna be the brows. So now I'm gonna continue on with my eye makeup and I'm gonna brush off the powder on my eyelids, but I'm gonna keep it baking under my eyelids just for a little bit longer. And now I'm gonna be taking my Smoky Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette by Beach Cosmetics. And this is actually a gift by one of my coworkers, um, but it has like gorgeous colors. I don't necessarily use all of these colors, but it does have a lot of purple. And if you guys know Justine, she wears a ton of purple, especially since her hair is purple. So to start off with the palette, I'm gonna be going in with this gorgeous purple color right here as the base for my lid. So as you guys can see, this is what my eyelids look like so far. Next, I'm going to be taking a buffer brush, and this is the 101 brush by BH Cosmetics as well. And I'm going to be going in with a mixture of these, these two purple colors, and I'm just going to apply those to my lid just to really get the smoky eye going, and then I'll go in my crease with like a different color, but just to like really buff it out and get it going, I'm going to start with those two colors. And I'm just going to be carrying this all over the top of my lid up near my eyebrow just like that if you guys can see and then I'm just gonna blend it out with the other purple color because it's more of a like a neutral 
it's more neutral tone than the first one. The first one's very bright. It's very bright. I guess I can't say it. The first color is very vibrant, so I'm just gonna try to tone that down a little bit. And this brush is so soft, oh my gosh. This is my first time actually using these brushes, and I bought them like a while ago, like in the summertime, but I just never used them just because I didn't wear as much eye makeup in the summer because it was just extremely hot. So as you guys can see, this is what my eyelids look like with the purples mixed together. I just like that this is really nice, vibrant purple look. I'm gonna continue to blend it out a little bit more. I'm gonna be taking my Hidden Treasures palette by Dose of Colors and I'm gonna be taking the black and the brown color, Key and Onyx, and I'm just gonna be going into my crease and just kinda smoking it out. Okay guys, so this is what the eyes look like now that I've smoked them out. I'm really obsessed with this color and the way it's turning out so far. So now I'm going to be applying my falsies and I just have these Ardell ones and they are in the wispy black ones. They are 240107 and I've already used one set of them so I really do like them. I'm just going to be applying these to my eyes as well as my liquid eyeliner but I'm doing it off camera because I suck at putting falsies and liquid eyeliner on so I'll be right back in a sec okay guys so now I'm gonna move on with the rest of the makeup so I'm just gonna brush off all of the excess translucent powder from my face and I'm pretty much almost done with the look I'm gonna move on to the lips next so for the lips what I noticed that Justine always has either like a deep dark purple lip or she has a nude lip and today I'm gonna go with the nude lip and to achieve the look I'm gonna be taking Kylie Cosmetics like and I'm also gonna be taking the True Brown Cape um, liner and I'll just applying that to my lips I figured that this would be doable for my lips since Kylie and Justine are friends so I'm gonna start with the True Brown K and I'm just gonna be applying this as a liner and I'm gonna apply this actually all over my lips but first I'm gonna take off my excess foundation So my lips are lined with True Brown K. I absolutely love True Brown K. It's just like a color, especially for dark skin tones. It's like one of the best, I feel. And then I'm just gonna be taking the light gloss and just applying that over my lips, so as you guys can see. Just gonna get that nude look that she has. Now, just to complete the eye makeup, I'm gonna be going back in with my Hidden Treasures palette, as well as with the Smoky Eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna be applying those in my inner corners, as well as on my nose, and just give my face a little bit of a highlight. So in my inner corner, I'm gonna be taking Gemstone, and then I'm also gonna be taking this gorgeous silver color right here to put that in my inner corner and then i'm going to be using my carly bible palette for my highlight so guys this pretty much completes the makeup look we're going to move on to the hair so i originally have my hair in the braids just so that i can get the texture look that she has in her picture so i'm going to take my braids out and then we're going to move on to the hairspray because i got hairspray for my hair So as you guys can see, my hair is a bit of a wave, kind of how Justine's is. Hers is a little bit messy. And so now I'm taking my hairspray, and this is by Color Bombs Beyond the Zone. And this is actually in the color Plum Perfect. It's like a purpley velvet color, and this is actually I got from Sally's for like $5. Just going to give it a good shake, and then I'm just going to be applying this to my hair. And I'm going to try not to make a mess. <laughs> But I'm just going to continue doing this all throughout my hair, and then I'm going to come back and let you guys see what it looks like. So I ended up doing this in the bathroom because it took a little bit of more space for me to do it, and I didn't want to get the walls wet. But if you guys can see, my hair is purple, and it's kind of like a vibrant purple. It's not going to be as purple as hers is. It looks so sick. I will say that this kind of makes your hair dry at the ends, like very gross, and my hands are pink. It brushes out and washes out. I hope. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put this over my hair like she has in the picture. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the bandana on. If you guys can still see the purple hair, I'll probably have to like add more purple in, like if I was gonna wear this out. So this is what the hair and makeup looks like. 
So as you guys can see in the picture, she has like these studs on like her cleavage area. So I'm just taking these studs that I got from Michaels. Okay guys, so this is the complete finished makeup look. I wish you guys could see how purple my hair actually is, but it looks better in person. I think it's more vibrant, but it wouldn't be a complete look without her glasses. And I ended up ordering a pair online and I wanted them to come in quick. So I would just purchase from like a random website, which I'm pretty sure I will not do ever again because they were supposed to be purple and... Do these look purple to you guys? I'm pretty sure they're pink, but they'll have to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Had a really fun time making it. It was super easy and super affordable. If you guys like this tutorial and you want more like it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also comment down below what other recreations you would like me to make. I had a really great time making this video. I'm excited for you guys to see it. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Know what you like. I'm the only one that ever should.